Tonight on our top stories, Borno State Environmental Protection Agency frowns at building on waterways. Residents of Bulunkutu Kogin Tifa calls for creation of waterways in the area. Plus, awareness campaign on exclusive breastfeeding in focus as UNICEF and partners sustain education on women. It's always a pleasure to have you join us again on NTA Medugri News at 7 for today, Saturday, the 6th of August 2022, which is also the 8th of Muharram 1444 after Hijra. My name is Jedwa Jasini. We begin where the Borno State Environmental Protection Agency has frowned at attitudes of some residents over continuous building on waterways as well as living in an unhygienic environment. This came up when the general manager of the agency, Abubakar Suleiman, supervised today's sanitation. Mujanato Hassan. But safer boss Abubakar Suleiman, who led the monitoring team of August Sanitation, went round nook and crannies of the metropolis to supervise conduct of the monthly exercise while commending residents for compliance, especially clubs and associations for always taking part in the sanitation. Abubakar Suleiman said, Borno State government is geared towards ensuring a healthy and conducive environment. He, however, frowned at attitudes of some residents for not engaging in the sanitation, but rather sitting idle waiting for time over to go to their businesses, and warned that Bosifa, in collaboration with Bodma, will take necessary action during conduct of the exercise. To stop using the waterways, to stop any illegal structure that may restrict the free flow of water. So that's why we see in back on what? Well, my advice to them is that please they should make sure that they clean their environment clean. Not that they'll just wait the time to allow them when they will go to their so, Once the flow of water is uh, having free movement, then automatically the risk of flooding within the society will be very, very low. Some defaulters were apprehended, among whom is one caught with ammunition. Youths were cautioned against any form of social vices as government of the day will not take it easy on them. Abubakar Suleiman lauded Governor Abagana Omar Zulum for supporting Bosifa towards actualizing its mandate and promised not to relent in doing the best. In Meduguri, Muljana to Hassan, NTA News. Rainfall has continued to wreak more havoc in flood prone areas within Meduguri and the environs, latest, which is Blunkutu Kogin Tifa where residents decried over flowed water into their houses. Pauline Kujevano has details. It has been an intermittent phenomenon for the past five years, with the residents of Bulungkutu Kogin Tifa counting their losses during rainy season. The waterlogged area collects water from different communities without access to evacuate the excesses, hence overflows to the nearby houses. The Commission of Environment, Architect Edima Sali, made known government plans to arrest the situation. <laughs> He further explained that government is working towards ensuring that challenges being faced by residents living around waterlocked areas are addressed for free flow of water. In Meduguri, Paul Nkujevana, NTA News. As River Ngadabul in Meduguri phenomenally rages again, the already affected residents are counting their losses as fear grips many over prediction of an impending devastation. Again, Pauline Kujavana brings us more details. 
Gigantic Water Channel, popularly known as River Ngadabul in Meduguri, Borno State, is believed to have its source from Cameroon Republic, faced to the brim intermittently and unpredictably during rainy seasons. The river passes through the center of Meduguri, linking another river source coming from Alu Dam in Konduga local government area at a confluence before flowing north towards the Lake Chad as a terminal point. Every year, we don't experience this kind of water. We experience it every four, four years. It is surprised us this year, this year that we saw this water this time around. This is our fear. How will it be? The mightiness of the river has created floodplains, erosion fingers and gullies in its path over the years, thereby putting the lives of the people who live at the lowland river banks at serious risks as the flood historically comes unaware like a thief in the night. Muna kwenye chicken dereji arua ya zoea chimu dani da muta na jamu adio adika agurun kwa mena mu bamsa mu mchire ba. The time when I open the gate, just I see the water flow my my house. People have to be patient. Government is aware, but uh, because of the exigencies of government and uh, the funds and the resources available, it cannot be done all of a sudden. But we will definitely uh, assess the very very prime areas. The river, apart from destroying properties and houses has claimed many lives in the past and currently families in the affected zone especially those building on the waterway are already victims even as people who witnessed it over the years claim that it may get worse in the coming days of august in meduguri paul and kujavana nta news in other news sensitization and awareness campaign especially on breastfeeding have been yielding positive results as united nations children's fund UNICEF and partners continue educating women and their families in Borno State. Rebecca Buture takes a look at the effort of at the effort made by UNICEF to ensure child survival in the state. Exclusive breastfeeding has been identified as important for the overall development of the child. To ensure child survival, World Health Organization and United Nations Children's Fund recommend that child initiate breastfeeding within the first hour of birth and be exclusively breastfed for the first six months of life. It is in line with this that World Breastfeeding Week came up to highlight the huge benefits that breastfeeding can bring to the health and welfare of babies and maternal health as well as to focus on good nutrition among others. Here in Borno State, UNICEF has been educating, training and supporting mothers to establish and breastfeed exclusively which depend their knowledge making their children look healthier than those not breastfed. Irin wannan abin UNICEF da ta dauki nauyi tana bin gida gida tana fada karwa yana da amfani saboda abin da baka sani ba mutum zai tunatar da kai. Nutrition specialist UNICEF Meduguri Field Aminu Usman said UNICEF support women with therapeutic food called RUTF and micronutrient powder. Uh, we have um, been able to uh, support the government to identify the needs and then provide the needed support in those areas uh, in order to address issues of malnutrition and promote child survival in Borno State. It is called therapeutic food because it is a drug, you know, so a normal person should not take that drug. So, but unfortunately, you see adults taking this uh, ready to use therapeutic food. But in order to mitigate this, we have been able to engage the traditional leaders to see how we can uh, work together to address these problems. Aminu Usman advised parents to give attention to the feeding of children within the 100 days of life, from conception to delivery up to two years of age, not to stop after exclusive breastfeeding. In Meduguri, Rebecca Boturi, NTA News. On a sad note, the death has occurred in Meduguri of Bawa Hajja Lawaliram, stepmother of the chief whip of House of Representatives Mohammed Tahir Mungunu. Bawa Hajja Lawaliram died following a protracted illness and was buried today, according to Islamic rites. Third day prayer for the deceased comes up on Monday. And that's all we have for you this evening. Thank you for sharing your time with us. The translated versions are up next. My name is Jadwa Jason. Good evening.